Uh, Gary <laughs> Lucero says, is it time for Microsoft to make Series S optional? Uh, IOW, mm. if developers want to offer a different feature set on the little Xbox, they can. Uh, Tom, I'm curious what you think about this one. Um, the concept of making Series S optional, as in the idea that you shouldn't release a game on Series S, I don't think that's acceptable. No, no, no. However, no, no. I think what Gary is alluding to here is the fact that Baldur's Gate 3 releases this week right. on, uh, play, uh, on PC, PlayStation 5 coming soon, mm -hmm. but no sign yet of Xbox Series versions yes. because they want split screen in the game and they're having engineering problems getting it working on Series S. X. So what do you make of Gary's question? It's well, those are two questions and two very different uh like answers to them. But I, I think what you just said answers the uh, the second, which is like, sure, I think I think it'd be fair enough. What we're already seeing is exactly that, different features on Series S if developers want to uh, have different features there. Uh different graphics modes being the traditional sort, but I think with fundamental mechanics like split screen. We're venturing into different territory there, aren't we? Where it kind of feels like you're missing a key component of what makes that game, you know, the game it is. Baldur's Gate, I think, really thrives on the split screen co op in the same room. I know a couple of people at the Eurogamer office who are really enjoying that. And uh, it'd be a shame to miss it on Series S. So good news that they're trying to push for that. And, you know, even if it takes a bit of extra dev time to get it there. Um, but making Series S optional in 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 terms of a release, I'm not sure it'd go that to that extreme. But that would be an extreme blow to people who bought into it because I think the promise was at the outset, you know, you're involved at an entry level, you get the entry level next gen experience, so to speak, and uh, you might not get all the features, but you're gonna have you know the same core game. Um, and I think Baldur's Gate is the only example, of, like recently that's kind of flouted that a little bit. John, what's your thoughts on this? Because in theory, they could launch on Xbox and split screen would be a Series X feature that isn't on Series S. Is it that much different from having quality and performance modes? Um, Not at you... all. <laughs> okay. Straight oh, to the so, point. Okay, maybe it's a little more complex than that. I, I do think that they are right to sort of push parity between these systems in terms of game features but yeah. i do think that there should be uh an option where you essentially have to make the case to microsoft of you know like in this case they they could sort of say okay we can ship the game on these two platforms along with the other versions if we do x right mm. if yeah. we do need to hit feature parity it's going to cause like say six months delay or more uh basically and we're not even confident that it will work at all so I feel like in very select case, I mean, there is room to abuse that, but in select cases, it could be a situation mm. where it would behoove them to essentially allow that to pass through, you yeah, know, exactly. The only problem comes in is like, if the game is marketed with these features as a big part of the game, uh, conceivably that could create a problem where somebody buys this version and then, Oh, it doesn't have this feature. Right. Yeah. So exactly. I kind of see both sides of the coin. I think, most people would actually prefer if they did not force parity on all features in cases like this, but I can also see a case being made for why they would want to. So it is, mm. it's very dicey and I think it has to be a case by case thing. Yeah. I guess the issue is that, you know, once you open the floodgates, uh, yeah, once you sort exactly. of start, you know, uh, ignoring your own rules that you made for series X, then, it, you know, it can be abused. And uh, that is a sort of slippery road. Or slippery. they could yeah. do something where on Series S, it switches to the cloud. <laughs> if oh. you want to do split screen. <laughs> That's the killer blow. It uses X cloud. <laughs> well, it would be amusing Sorry. if the second screen would come from the cloud. Because, uh. well, the whole split, like they could have a little thing where it's like a, if they have like in text or ads or a trailer, like have a little asterisk on there, asterisk on there, uh, where it says like a Series S version uses xCloud for split screen or something. You know? I haven't um, played Baldur's Gate 3, so I am speaking from a position of relative ignorance here, but it does seem a shame, shall we say, that um, there won't be a multi-platform launch for Baldur's Gate 3 because of Series S not being able to run the split screen mode. Uh, when realistically, the take up for split screen 
in terms of the whole audience is likely to be relatively low overall. It's a nice feature to have. Is it essential to the game? That's my question. Mm. Um, should there be dispensations? I suspect that sooner or later, there, you know, just as there were in the Xbox 360 era, across the entire generation, those technical requirements changed, and they adapted mm. simply to make, you know, to to make games appear. I mean, the classic one, of course, is. Well, the first one, which was flouted on day one, was uh, the requirement for two times multi-sampling anti-aliasing. Yeah. Uh, Nothing less than seven twenty p. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but the the sort of bigger one, I guess, was when um, the disk drive, sorry, the hard drive, was mandatory for Grand Theft Auto Five. I mean, it needed it, right? This or one, XBLA I, storage. Uh, Mm -hmm. yeah yeah for the uh, original downloadable games i think it was like 128 megabytes or something something like that initially it, it was very low that's it was very sure. low mm -hmm. so yeah these requirements are going to shift over time um i'm not sure split screen is the hill to die on for Baldur's gate 3 in terms of an xbox release i'd have liked to have seen possibly a situation where you know there was a pledge to add it later on series s once you know once it was ready uh, yeah, I don't know. Mm. That's, I don't know. I, I think there are ways around this situation, but it is a bit of a shame. I mean, Baldur's Gate Three is is huge. It's not quite breaking records on Steam. Hogwarts Legacy did that earlier in the in the year, but it's up there, right? And um, mm. the more people to play the are able to play the game, the better. But the concept of making Series S optional on a sort of basic level, I don't think it's a very very good idea. Um, all all the games should be running on it the question is to what sort of feature mm. standard i don't know let's or what if they it. just did a really bad split screen mode on the series s <laughs> or just they allow it to just run but the frame rate's bad and you know it's yeah, technically I, there it's always but... contemptuous at that point isn't it it's like ah you wanted it well here you go <laughs> knowingly shipping a poor feature that's not great yeah is it? it's not on is it yeah <laughs> yeah